Hey guys, welcome to episode 12 with Art with Miss Clicken. Today, what are we making? Well, I shall tell ya. We're making a sea bunny. What's a sea bunny? Well, a sea slug, also known as the sea bunny, can be found around the coast of Japan, Australia, and even the surrounding waters of the Philippines. It's nothing like you've ever seen before. Oh, thank you. To start today's project, you wanna make sure that your white piece of paper is going up and down, just like a hamburger. You're gonna take your pencil and you're going to take it all the way to the right side in one sweep swoop. So come towards the middle and take your pencil and swoop it all the way to the right side and stop. Then you're gonna take your pencil, and this is where we're gonna have the sea bunny's ears. So you take it up here towards the left. Make one leaf. Connect it back to the head. And then take the right side. Make one leaf that will go off the page. And then connect the leaf to the other side. After you've drawn the left and the right ear, you're gonna go back to your left ear and you're gonna draw inside, almost like a small stem. Go back to the right. Once you've drawn the stem in both left and right ear, you're gonna to wanna to listen very carefully at this point. Now some bunny has something different that's pretty cool to the sea bunny. The reason why the sea bunny has these interesting ears that look like a leaf is because they play a unique sensory role. So just like how you put on your headphones to hear better, these little fuzzy antennas make the sea bunny detect food predators, and even chemicals in the water to keep the bunny safe. So at this point, just like what I'm doing right now, you're gonna take your pencil and almost draw like you're drawing a big stalk of a sunflower with the leaves to help the bunny hear better. Before we go back and finish this space, we need to make sure that the sea bunny has a face. So take your pencil and you're gonna draw a little dot. The left eye, go to the right side, do the same. Come down just a little bit and draw one left watermelon seed and then a mirror image of a right watermelon seed. And then you're gonna come down and make a J. Make a backwards J like I did before. Make one little swoop to show that the mouth is partially opened and then go back down just a little bit and make that same line just to show some definition in the chin. After you're done drawing your face that it's in place, you're gonna take your pencil. You're going to make these little tiny speckles that look like sprinkles and spread them out. These are tiny rods that the sea bunny has and the scientists right now aren't quite sure why our little furry friend has these details, but they're assuming that it helps as a sensory role, just like our ears. They believe that these little black rods help our little sea bunny on a daily basis. So just go around, don't spend too much time doing this, and just make some little 
pencil sprinkles. And do not eat those, please. Once you're done spreading the sprinkled cheer on the body, you're gonna go back to the ear. And I believe that these ears of the sea bunny remind me of the limbs on a Christmas tree. So I'm gonna pretend when we're coloring today that this is part of a Christmas tree and we're gonna make an ornament. And since this bunny lives in the sea, instead of a regular bulb ornament, we're gonna make a shell ornament. So go back up to your left ear. Make a line going down. Before we start outlining with our black washable marker, we're going to continue the theme of our plant life and we're just going to add two pieces of seaweed in the back to show the viewer that we're still underwater. So start right here at the end of the shell. Make a little swirl going up, come back, go towards the bottom, make another squiggly line. Once you've outlined everything with your black washable marker, this is the point where we're going to color this bunny honey. So this is where we're gonna use. I'm gonna choose to make my shell and holiday colors in red and green, but if you don't celebrate Christmas, feel free to put any kind of color that you wish. I am gonna keep the inside of our fuzzy ears green to mimic the pine tree, keep our slug, white and then color the ocean in different assortments of blue and purple tones. <laughs> 